What happened in court today is precisely what we wanted to happen. The High Court certified that we had raised point of law, point of law of general public importance and that the Supreme Court has good grounds to hear this appeal. The situation now is that the Supreme Court has to decide whether it will hear the appeal. But make no mistake, we won today in court. Today was a partial victory, a partial victory, but as Sela says, the punishment goes on. It's a punishment by process, a serious human rights violation. The torture is ongoing in Belmar's prison. He has been there for more than 1,000 days. I mean, you, you all heard the news stories uh, about his uh, 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 minor stroke, and he, he is in declining health. That's uh, that's all I can say. Um, how long will it take? Well, I mean, there are, I think, 14 days for the uh, Julius lawyer to submit documents to the Supreme Court. Then we have no idea how long the Supreme Court will take to decide or, or come to a decision. It could take weeks, could take months. But it's, it's on one point, a very important point, uh, what, the point that we've always, uh, you know, been uh, protesting vigorously, the fact that after the United States lost in the, the lower court, they were allowed to, to submit these so-called absurd, absurd assurances, which, I mean, it, 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 from a general perspective, it's, it's just absurd. If there had been justice, the officials who plotted, who conspired to murder Julian, would be in the courtroom right now. If there were justice, the crimes that Julian exposed, war crimes, the killing of innocent civilians, would not be impugned. Our fight goes on, and we will fight this until Julian is free.